Dr. Lamuel Stanislaus and the late Herbert Blaise, former Grenadian Prime Minister with childhood friends in Karakou. And that friendship spurred Prime Minister Blaise to rely on his old friend to assume the role of Grenada's ambassador to the United Nations. Dr. Stanislaus never hesitated and served Grenada at the UN for two terms. He emerged as an unlikely diplomat and community leader in Brooklyn by helping to establish the West Indian Day Parade and the Caribbean American Chamber of Commerce and Industry, as well as the Presentation Brothers College Alumni Association in New York. Stannis Claus also worked to nominate Shirley Chisholm as the first African-American woman to run for the presidency of the United States. Government Minister, the Honorable Elvin Nimrod, from Grenada, who is also the Member of Parliament for Karaku and Piti Martnik, offered this reflection on the passing of Dr. Stannis Claus. And he is a member of my constituency from Piti Martnik, of course. Uh, he served Grenada as ambassador for over 10 years very able way and of course he was a good friend of mine an advisor and and of course all of us all of us must be in grief today okay other government representatives from Grenada including its head of government also paid their final respects to the former ambassador in central Brooklyn which became his stomping ground during his rise to prominence in that community Dr. Sanskrit lifted the profile of Grenada in the international community and he will be dearly missed to the people and government of Grenada. He has been a great service to them and my thoughts and prayers go to his family. And he represented Grenada extremely well at the United Nations. He was very well loved by the delegates at the United Nations and very well remembered. And he certainly did his country very proud. In addition to that, of course, he's someone who uh, the entire community thought very fondly of. And, you know, which is why, uh, you know, we've seen this sort of outpouring of grief that we've seen for Dr. Stanislaus. We have a number of Grenadian officials who are here uh, just for this. So I think there's a, a real feeling of sadness uh, at his loss. The man being mourned today was not only an unlikely career diplomat, but his prominence in the Caribbean community tapped him as a crucial conflict negotiator between the Jewish and West Indian communities at the height of the Crown Heights race riots in 1991. The former governor of the state of New York, Mario Cuomo, said of Dr. Stanislaus, quote, the kind of role that he played without being elected is what other ethnic groups have had, a power broker. Dr. Stanislaus, a native of the island of Petit Martinique, came to the U.S. in 1945 and is a graduate of the School of Dentistry at Howard University in Washington, D.C. Reporting from New York, this is Kellan Buck.